Hello guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so our topic for today is Cartesian two polar equations and vice versa. So, yesterday, what we did was we converted the coordinates. So, but this time, we're now going to convert equations, but we're going to have a short review about polar and Cartesian coordinates. When we say polar, the coordinates are r and theta. Now, given the y and x as the legs of the triangle, we're going to look for r using the Pythagorean theorem. So, ang gagawin natin is square na natin yung legs ng triangle, namely x and y. Then, we're going to find the sum, tapos isi-square root na natin po. Then, yung sa theta naman po, Naalala nyo ba si tangent theta equals y over x? Bakit? Kasi opposite over adjacent. Since yung y natin ay O, tapos yung x natin yung A. So, paano natin mahanap si theta? Hahanapin na natin using the inverse of tangent of y over x. So, that's how we find the polar coordinates. So, dito naman po, sa Cartesian po, ang Cartesian natin ay x and y. So, using the polar coordinates, okay, what we're going to do is, we're going to multiply r with cosine theta to look for x. Siyempre, yung cosine theta natin, ibig sabihin x over r. Samantalang yung y, we're going to multiply r with sine theta. In order to find the sine theta, y over r. So, these are based on the Sokatawa concept. So, ngayon, we're going to apply it in some of our examples. So, ito yung mga useful formula sa pwede natin gamitin para mag-convert. Okay, so now we, we have the given Cartesian equations. Yung Cartesian equations, may x and y na tayo. So we're going to recall what the x and y are. Yung x natin ay r cosine theta. Yung y natin is r sine theta. Okay, so... Ito yung pinaka-basic tools na natin para ma-convert na tayo sa polar. Okay, so what we're going to do is to substitute x with r cosine theta. Ganon din ang gagawin natin sa y by r sine theta. So, we're going to do the same procedure. Okay, so simplifying by exponents, magiging r squared to kasi r times r. Tapos magiging cosine squared theta kasi cosine theta times cosine theta. We're going to do the same thing with this expression. Now, we're going to multiply 10 and r sine theta. So ipagtatabi na natin sila. Then, we're going to copy the rest. Okay, so what do we have noticed about r squared? So, anong gagawin natin? Anong GCF natin? Ang GCF natin, si r squared. Tapos ang matitira dyan sa loob ng parenthesis ay cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. Tapos, ikakopy natin yung the rest. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta? Based sa Pythagorean identity, 1 siya. So, r squared times 1, syempre, magiging r squared minus 10r sine theta Tapos, pwede natin ilipat yung 36 kabila 
So, magiging minus 36 equals 0. So, ito na po yung sagot natin. Ito na po yung polar equation natin. So, dito naman, same procedure. So, substitution muna tayo. Substitution ng unang step natin. Bakit ganito yung answer natin? Kasi yung x natin is r cosine theta. Yung y natin is r sine theta. So now we're going to simplify. So ito yung magiging outcome. So, kukopyay natin si 15. So, r times r is r squared. Then, ang mangyayari na dito is ipagtatabi na natin si cosine theta tapos si sine theta. Tapos, ang gagawin natin is isisimplify natin. So, by the way, if we want to make yung pagandahin natin by converting to trigonometric identities, bahala na. Pero, ito yung pinaka, ano, sagot natin talaga. Okay, so now, we're going to move to the next item. Tada! Hmm. Boy lang. So, now, we're going to do the same procedure. So, ano yung x natin? Our x is r cosine theta. Yung y equals r sine theta. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to substitute as usual, substitute then evaluate. Kagaya yung ginagawa natin ng grade 7 tayo, we substitute then evaluate. So now, we're going to simplify what's in the numerator. So, ito na po yung pinalabas na natin. Paano natin maalis si 3R cosine theta? So, multiply both sides. So, magiging 5 minus R squared sine theta cosine theta. Tapos, 4 times 3 is 12. Tapos, R squared times R is R cubed. Tapos, cosine cubed theta. Kasi cosine square theta times cosine theta. Uh, so, ang gagawin natin is we're going to transpose everything na from the right to the left para magiging zero siya sa right. So, magiging negative to kasi nilipat natin siya sa kabila. So, ito na yung sagat na natin. So, ito, ang gagawin natin, same procedure lang. It was done through substitution. Dahil may common dito, cancel natin. So, matitira is negative 10 over 9. So, ano yung sabihin ng cosine theta over sine theta? Di ba yung tangent is equal to sine theta over cosine theta? Since baliktad siya, so we're going to apply the reciprocal identity. So magiging cotangent theta equals 3. So ito yung answer natin. So, tada! Kanina, nag-convert tayo sa polar. Ngayon, this time, partition na tayo. So, 
Ito, ang gagawin natin is factorize kasi ang GCF niya is R squared. So, ang matitira sa loob ay cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 4. So, this is the remaining in the parentheses. So, using the Pythagorean identity, this is 1. So, therefore, it will, what will remain is the R squared equals 4. So, this is the the revised form. Now, we're going to change it into the Cartesian. Remember, your, your R is equal to the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So, ang gagawin natin is isa substitute po natin. So, ito yung R natin. So, Ang mangyayari, ma maalis na si square root kasi na square na siya. So magiging x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Tapos dito naman po, ang gagawin po natin is we're going to use this to convert everything. But before that, Ano ibig sabihin ng 1 over cosecant theta? So, magiging sine theta na siya. So, magiging r sine theta plus r equals 4 r cube. So, magsisimplify po tayo ano ang common factor ng dalawa. So, it will be r. So, what will be remaining inside is sine theta plus 1 equals 4 R cube. So, para makancel po si R, we're going to divide both sides by R. So, what will remain is sine theta plus 1. So, i-divide na natin yung 4R cube sa R. So, using the loss of exponent, which is a quotient law, uh, matitira sa taas. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, magiging 4R squared siya. So, dito naman po, sa sine theta, balikan natin yung kanina. So, yung sine theta natin is y over r plus 1 equals 4 r squared. So, para mapaalis si r, kailangan multiply both sides by r. So, magiging y plus r equals 4 r Cube. So, hindi natin i-convert si y kasi Cartesian na siya. Pero si r, oo. Bale, magiging x squared plus y squared under the square root. Pero so, dito naman po, ipapalit natin yung r sa x squared plus y squared. So, cube na siya. So, bale, ang ikakalabas y plus square root of x squared plus y squared minus 4 tapos x squared plus y squared under the square root raised to the power of 3. So, isi-simplify po natin. So, eto na po yung answer natin. Dito naman, eto yung pinakamatindi. However, yan si tangent theta is equivalent to y over x. Tapos yung si r squared naman ay si x squared plus y squared. Tapos dito naman, Si, si sine 2 theta magiging 2 sine theta tapos cosine theta equals 10 plus 5 tapos square root of x squared plus y squared. 
So dito naman po, ang gagawin po natin is, i-convert na natin muna yan si sin theta at si cos theta muna. Alam ko medyo mahaba siya, pero sulit to. So, ang gagawin natin is Okay, ano yung sabihin ng y times x? Siyempre, x, y. Tapos yung r squared na yon yun ang product ng r at saka r. So, dito naman po, ikakopya natin yung the rest. Since yung r squared natin ay x squared plus y squared, ikakancel na natin. So, ang matitira is y over x minus 2. Tapos, itatranspose na natin lahat. So, tada! Yun ang sagot natin. Pero, nakalimutan ko pala. So, kokopay na natin pala si xy. Nakalimutan ko po. Okay. So, dito naman po, chicken feet lang to. Dahil, may common factor. So, divide both sides by r squared. So, matitira ay r taken theta equals 1. So, kita transpose na natin sa left. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng second theta? Ibig sabihin r over cosine theta. Yung second theta ibig sabihin 1 over cosine theta. Minus 1 plus 0. So, ngayon, we're going to multiply or ang gagawin natin yung sa cosine theta, ipoconvert na natin siya to x over r. Minus 1 equals 0. So, ang gagawin na natin para mawala na ito, multiply both sides by x tapos x over r. So, ang gagawin natin is mawala na siya. So, r ang matitira minus x over r equals 0. So, ang mangyayari dito, multiply both sides by r. So, ano yung r squared natin? So, x squared plus y squared minus x equals 0. So, thank you guys. Happy learning. Okay, don't forget to click the subscribe button. E or, and like. Feel free to comment. Thank you.